What's up Aries? This is your love forecast for the first half of September. That's September 1st through till the 15th. This is for my Aries Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you are new to my channel, I put these out for you guys every two weeks. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with me as I get them out to you. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love? First half of September. Any love messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? First half of September. What does my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus need to know about love? First half of September. Okay. Tower card, two of swords, two of cups. Okay, page of swords, seven of swords. Mm-hmm. Okay, Aries. <laughs> Someone lurking you real hard here with the page of swords, okay? They got their eye on you. You also could be having your eye on them, okay? Seven of swords to me in the overall energy as well says that there could be a bit of sneakiness going on in a particular connection. Someone that comes to mind, okay, whoever comes to mind, there's a bit of this lurking energy and there's a bit of this suspicion, okay? I feel like someone's checking you out hard, but there's a little bit of this kind of deception in the air, okay? Um, with that seven of swords, I kind of feel like, you know, this could be someone that things fell apart with with the tower card, okay, Scorpio energy here, also your energy, Aries, okay, Mars, Aries energy. I feel like this could be a person that you were connected to, but you might have had like some kind of an abrupt ending, okay, but I feel like they still have their eye on you, okay, and they're checking you out. Um, like I said, I think that there could have been some stuff that got in the way between you two, deception energy, I'm gonna get more clarity on that, okay? But I feel like they're also sneakily watching you, okay? Keeping an eye on you, keeping tabs on you, trying to see where, where you're at, what you're up to, okay? With the tower card, like I said, it could have been an abrupt ending that happened between you two, and the connection right now is a little stuck, okay? With the two of swords here, this refers to things being stuck. It also refers to choices and decisions, so it's like someone could be analyzing you and eyeing you because they wanna kind of work out um, how to move forward or they haven't made a decision how to like whether they want to move forward and and um, connect with you right because maybe this stuff that happened between you two was like some kind of an intense blow up okay I do see you would have had a relationship with this person with the two of cups or perhaps they really wanted a relationship or you wanted a relationship with them but something kind of happened um, that just kind of everything exploded but now they're watching you um, tell me about this Two of Cups. Actually, tell me about the Tower card spirit. Why did everything blow up? Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, strong soulmate energy here, okay? I feel like you could have known this person for a really long time. It could be someone from your childhood, someone that feels very familiar to you, okay? This Six of Cups is often that kind of soulmate energy. Um, it's also about reconciliation. So I'm heavily feeling, yes, this is someone that you were connected to in either a relationship or you were heading in that way, but things kind of blew up, all right? Um, and they want reconciliation because Six of Cups often means that, okay? Cups energy, you could be dealing with a water sign. We also have swords, lots of swords. So water and um, air. So you could be dealing with an Aries, sorry, <laughs> you're an Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but yeah, someone wants to take a leap towards you, I think, but they're really just sitting back and watching right now, okay? They could be a bit cautious given the way that things have panned out between you two. The full card as well, they could be feeling a little foolish <laughs> about whatever happened, okay? Now this is Aquarian energy. Um, tell me a little bit more spirit about why things have been stuck between um, Aries and this person. Things are just not moving right now, you know what I'm saying? Yes, Hierophant card, okay? Tell me about the Two of Swords and the Hierophant. Six of Swords, okay. It is possible, Aries, that this person's already in some kind of a commitment. They could be married or maybe you are, okay, with that Hierophant card. Someone stuck wants to move away from a current situation, I believe, to move towards you, Six of Swords. In the very least, they wanna move into a smoother time with you because things really exploded. 
okay? But like I said with the two of swords, this is like a choice needs to be made. So it's possible that this person needs to choose, you know, make the choice um, between someone that they're committed to um, or you and to move towards you, okay? And they're ready to take that leap here. It could have been that you got fed up and things fell apart between you and this person because maybe there was this like third party energy, maybe this person was already in a commitment um, and you know, um, they wouldn't kind of leave. Maybe you put an ultimatum to them. With that seven of swords, that is, like I said, deception and sneakiness. So there could have been some sneaking around or maybe you were committed to this person and they had someone else or take it as it resonates guys but I feel like this person wants to move towards you for a smoother time. Hierophant card could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay this person also could live at a distance with this six of swords because this couldn't often refer to sort of over water but doesn't have to be. Um, full as well can often mean distance but either way what I'm saying is this is about like leaving behind the past to move forward into something smoother with you. Tell me a bit more about that six of swords. What do they want to offer? What do they want to offer Aries? Yes, temperance. They want healing with you, okay? Sagittarius energy, but this is about healing. It's also that they're taking their time to make the move towards you. Temperance card's a little bit about patience. You know, um, they could have been kind of patiently waiting to make this move. Um, to try to smooth things out with you because I guess that they're a bit cautious. That's why they're kind of sitting back and watching you because I think that they know if they come back and they try to fix things, it really needs to be solid, okay? I feel like whatever went down between you and this person was um, pretty bad, okay? Really a bad blow up with the tower, um, maybe because of all the deception energy. Um, so they're taking their time. I feel like they're just gathering facts right now. What did I say? Six of Pentacles, yeah. Something was out of balance between you two. Okay, probably because there was some kind of interfering energy or someone couldn't make up their mind because they were stuck in something else here. Six of Pentacles, it's like, I almost feel Aries that you were like, I'm not gonna have this. You know, you felt like you were being breadcrumbed a little bit with that Six of Pentacles, like putting in more into the connection than the other person. But they wanna offer you something more balanced now. Yes, an Ace of Pentacles. So they want to recommit. So if you were already committed, they want to come back and recommit. Um, or if you weren't committed because they were in another commitment, they want to come towards you and offer you a balanced commitment. Ace of Pentacles, okay? Ace of Wands as well, passionate new beginning. There you go. They want new beginning all around, okay? They want to reignite the passion and they want to recommit to you. Eight of Cups. Either, either you walked away from this person, turned their back, or they did that. Um, with this Eight of Cups, but now they're regretting it and they want to reignite something with you. Also, Eight of Cups, you know, this could involve someone. Sorry, guys, I'm so clumsy. I always drop cards. Eight of Cups could imply that someone needs to walk away from one situation to move towards you, okay? Or you need to walk away from a situation, okay? This Two of Swords is like stuck, right? I said someone needs to make a decision to um, leave something behind to move forward for a new beginning. Okay, um, let's see, what else have we got? Five of Pentacles, yeah. I mean, Aries, I feel like this person's feeling left out in the cold, okay? Or this person left you feeling left out in the cold, right, with the situation. I almost feel like it's a bit mutual because I, as I said, I think this is not, um, like you might not be really communicating with this person or it might be on and off, okay? I do get that kind of energy, it's more like observation. And I feel like, you know, this person, um, might be, you know, feeling left out in the cold and missing you, etc. Or, you know, it could be very much mutual. Um, but obviously, there's this kind of stuck energy because there's someone maybe else in the picture. Okay, but someone wants to reconcile with you. Yes, because death ending. Okay, also feel like something needs to end on one side or the other with another person for this to move forward. Now the death card, strong Scorpio energy. Okay, but this also represents endings and beginnings. So I feel like you had an ending with this person of some kind, but this represents opportunity for a new start. Okay, what does this person want to come forward with? A little bit more on that. Queen of Cups, okay. Ace of Swords, yep. They're very much in their feels, okay, Aries, Queen of Cups. They're also in their intuition, trying to assess when the right time is to come forward, as I said, with the Temperance card, okay. They also feel like you're in your intuition. So if you were picking up on some deception or you felt like things weren't right, they know that you're aware of everything, okay, but that you're waiting for them to come forward and really express themselves, okay. Ace of Swords, this is about a new beginning in truth. So we have three 
aces on the table. So I do see, like I said, a new beginning all round, truthful, passionate and committed. Okay, Queen of Cups, this is um, very much like emotional energy. So um, that could be like them in their feels, okay, really, and feeling you out, sussing out the situation. Um, but also this is um, water energy again, so you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their feminine energy, okay? Very much though about intuition, so I'm really getting this is more about assessing the situation. This also could be you trying to assess the situation intuitively to think about whether this is someone that you want to have the new beginning with. And maybe they're worried that you're not going to take the new beginning because of everything that's in the way, everything that's been in the way, deception and maybe, you know, some third party. What else do we need to know? Yes, the lovers. Okay, strong soul connection that you have with this person. Okay, a lot of passion as well. A lot of passion I'm getting, okay? Gemini energy, okay? Um, but I've, otherwise, this is just strong soul connections, but also can be choices and duality, okay? So I am getting that there could be a decision that needs to be made between a couple of people. This person, like I said, could be in a commitment um, and they need to make a decision to walk away towards you, okay? Maybe now you're in a commitment and you need to make a decision to go to this person, but either way, stuff has blown up between you two, but there is an opportunity to reignite for a new beginning. Tell me more about that, lovers. Doesn't wanna come out, guys. Tell me more about the lovers, yeah. Yeah, four of cups. You're not sure, Aries, okay? You've been very disappointed just with the way that things have happened, okay? Four of Cups, this person is also worried that they've missed an opportunity with you with that Four of Cups, okay? There's a little bit of this emotional disconnect right now, I think on your part, and a little bit of fear on the part of the other person that they've missed some kind of an opportunity with you, okay? Um, because of all this, like, whatever blew up, the deception and third parties, etc. But I, I think that because of that, you know, they're, they're not at that stage yet where they want to really, really like where they're going to take the action, but they're feeling ready to take the leap. OK, um, and they could be communicating with you, but I feel like, sorry, communicating with you in the first half of September, but I feel like they still have some stuff that they need to do and eliminate. Or you might have, like I said, I think that a decision still needs to be made um, for that full recommitment because there's still some stuff in the way but there's definitely going to be like some kind of communication um, while right now you might not be as I said I think there's more observation but I think this is going to shift for you guys in the first half of September and someone wants to come forward and be truthful and honest about their feelings and their plans with you okay so let me just get um, a romance angel for you guys how is Aries person feeling about Aries right now Stay optimistic about your love life, yeah. They're still optimistic about you. They're worried that they've um, missed the opportunity, but I feel like now they're trying to be optimistic and that's why they're in this full energy, almost ready to take that leap. Okay, this could be the one, yeah, because they really feel like you're the one, Aries, okay? You've already met the romantic partner you seek. One more. Soulmate. Told you guys, yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, let me just get um, some psychic oracles for you guys as well. A couple of psychic oracles for Aries, please, spirit. New beginnings, what did I say? They want a new beginning, all this stuff around the new, okay? The new, new, <laughs> all these aces, okay? And the full, this is the full card in an oracle, all right? As we had before, so this is about taking a leap of faith for something new, <gasps> deception and envy. <laughs> Okay, seven of swords energy. Yeah, for sure. There was some like sneakiness, probably third party, some lying. But now ace of swords, someone wants to come forward, be truthful. They want to just eliminate all that old stuff. Okay, the tower card that's come out is also about letting go of the old to rebuild something with you. Okay, recognition and reward is sitting here. So I think someone's really recognizing you. <laughs> As I said to you, they're really lurking you. Okay, they're checking you out. So they could be really admiring you here and they want this new beginning. Oh my God. And As I said that, this is triumphant success is the ace of swords. Okay, this is about truth and communication and honesty. Okay, it's also about you standing in your power. So someone's obviously recognizing you, admiring you and you're seeming very powerful, okay? You're kind of, um, you know, just doing your thing. <laughs> All right, so they wanna come back towards you and rebuild and rekindle, okay? Let me just get a um, Wisdom of the Oracle and we'll wrap up. Wisdom of the Oracle, please, for Aries. TikTok, yeah, 
divine timing, okay? This is why, like, this is the temperance card. So this is things coming together at the right time. This is also why this person's kind of biding their time to come forward. But I think they've been planning this for quite some time, okay? Um, one more. Building blocks, yes. Actually, I'll get another two. <laughs> Sorry, guys. To be fair, okay, great. This is about honesty, okay, and fairness. Someone wants to be fair now. Um, new life, okay? It's almost like that full card. This is about a new beginning for you guys. And building blocks for me means you already do have a foundation with this person they want to build off. Okay, 28 card adds to a 10. So it's also about new cycles, okay? Like letting go of the old for the new. All right, guys, I hope that it resonated for you. And um, if it did, like I said, give me a like and a comment and I'll check in with you in two weeks time, okay? Lots of love.